Hello and welcome. My name is Christoph Putz and I am your IT career guide. In today's video, I want to talk about a day in the life of a systems analyst. And before we really get into the video and talk about details, I want to talk about what is a systems analyst at all. So a systems analyst or system analyst is part of the overall IT team. This individual may be implementing new systems, work on system upgrades, work with users and stakeholders to really gather requirements for systems implementations. This is not just like, okay, installing a physical Windows server system of some sort or a Linux server system or a storage system. This is more from the application side, be it a cloud system or a server-based system, but it's more really what sits on top of the operating system. So that's more the traditional role of a systems analyst. And that's really important to understand because you might think, oh, why is it not a systems engineer or a systems architect? So the role is very specific. It has a lot to do with data gathering, gathering information, making informed decisions, presenting those back, and then really helping the stakeholders and the users of these systems to get the most value out of that systems implementation or managing an existing system. So before we get into the nitty gritty of this video and talk about the systems analyst, if you don't mind subscribing to my channel, I would really appreciate it. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm and makes this content available to more users on YouTube. So now let's talk about the systems analyst in more detail. So what does a systems analyst do? We go into a little more detail here before we talk about the day-to-day -day activities for these type of individuals. A systems analyst needs to be able to understand a problem that needs to be solved. So when talking to stakeholders and users, the systems analyst really needs to take that input and I want to say dumb it down to a certain degree so that um, he or she can look at, okay, what is the best possible solution for this problem that these stakeholders and users have. So to be successful in that role, the systems analyst really needs to understand how well software, hardware, and the larger IT environment work together. So, I mean, it might be, okay, what type of domain do we need? Is this a development domain? Is this a production domain? Be it Active Directory or whatever, whatever other directory system you want to use. What is the network environment? Is this something that we need to publish out to the internet? And um, so there's a lot of pieces that need to come together and then the systems analyst will, will really reach out to the other groups within the larger IT department and get their input as well so that the system that gets laid on implemented or upgraded or really where changes are being pushed into the environment are aligned with the larger IT environment that the other teams know what's happening. So let's say you are rolling out a cloud service and the systems analyst takes over the rollout and the implementation from the systems architect and working with the vendors on everything. So if the larger IT team does not know that there is a new cloud system coming online and there are requirements in regards to bandwidth or other pieces, let's say it needs to be hooked into Okta for a single sign-on and multi-factor authentication. So that's really where this comes into play and is very important for a sex successful um, implementation of a new system. The same thing if the stakeholders have a certain expectation to the system. So let's say the um, sales person, the sales team of the vendor made certain promises and then the systems analyst um, delivers a system that would not match up with these expectations. Um, that disconnect would uh, cause problems within the larger organization because, um, well, if the IT department cannot deliver and I put that in quotes, the trust and the expertise that uh, would, need, would be needed to work with the information technology department and the different groups outside of it, um, that would not exist. It would be difficult then to really uh, drive new systems into the environment and get the buy-in from the business. So you get the idea. So it needs to be well communicated. It needs to be well connected. So with any type of system rollout, system upgrade or system expansion, you need to analyze the current system. So that's part of what the systems analyst does. He or she takes a look at, okay, what do we have? Maybe the solution is already in-house and it's just not fully integrated or certain functionality is not activated at that point. And so it's really um, having a good understanding of these systems and how far can they take us on that journey to deliver that final solution. 
With all that knowledge now, the systems analyst goes and takes and creates a detailed specification document. And that really will be the roadmap, the guidelines, the um, set of instructions that later on will be used to implement the system. So um, that, uh, that systems analyst, again, will work with the other IT staff, be it software developers, systems engineers, systems administrators, and whoever else could be there. So there's also usually a project manager involved. So it's a team effort. And really that systems analyst is part of a team. So if you are not a team player and you rather work alone, this might not be the perfect role for you. So then really the systems analyst as this um, roll out, let's call it that, comes towards the production readiness, is responsible for training the users, um, providing information to the stakeholders and really delivering a go, no go type of, I don't want to say decision, decision is the wrong word here, but um, scenario where everyone feels comfortable to go into production with the system. You cannot just deliver a system and hand it off and uh, say, good luck, you're on your own, here's your system that you ever wanted to have. So the training of the users, but also the ongoing support. There will be additional questions or there will be hits and misses um, where something needs to be changed because you only find out in production, um, oops, we forgot something or oops, that functionality is not necessarily working as expected or as advertised. With these type of rollouts and, and the work that the systems analyst does, there's also the strategic involvement in creating roadmaps. In the past, IT had their own roadmaps and often, and, and you still see this happening, IT does not align with the rest of the business. And that's really where challenges arise because IT rolled something out without knowing that another department is rolling something out as well or a department um, budgets for a certain technical solution and then on January 2nd, they walk up to the IT department, hey, um, you know, we have money in our budget reserved for XYZ rollout and we need your help and we need about I don't know, um, three man hours per day from this group and 10 uh, man hours from that group. And yeah, you, you can understand if, if these things collide, um, nobody will be happy and um, the overall delivery from any group will be impacted. So the systems analyst plays an important role in that alignment, building those roadmaps, identifying overhanging pieces, and then helping uh, really from the larger perspective to get these things aligned. So then also I wanna talk about the medium pay for a systems analyst. Um, again, this is an average for the United States. So it's between 80 and $100,000. And um, of course, your expertise, the years of experience, your overall background, your geographic location, all that plays an important role. So um, these salaries can go far above $100,000. They can also be in the seventy-five or $65,000 range B, depending on are you a junior level person or are you working in Alabama compared to somebody working in Palo Alto, California? So there will be differences. So just keep that in mind, please. So let's talk about the actual day in the life of a systems analyst. So what is happening in the day? And I'm not putting a certain time of the day in this here. So I'm um, really just getting an understanding the day will be structured in, in many different ways. But all these items that I will show you now are part of that day-to-day -day activity. So there are meetings with users and stakeholders, sometimes group meetings, sometimes one-on-one -on -one meetings, and it could be just an intake meeting or it could be a full project meeting. And um, there could be just one per week, one every other week, there could be two per week. So just keep in mind your calendar as a systems analyst uh, will partially be dictated by meetings that you have. And it's up to you to figure out how can you um, structure your day and be focused to get actual work done because that's not always easy. So then um, I mentioned this before with project meetings, um, there are related tasks and action items assigned to the systems analyst. So there's direct work resulting just out of these project meetings. Then the um, analyst works with the systems engineers, software developers, and other IT people on the design implementation rollout and so on. The analyst also has to research new technology. So if it has been identified, okay, we do not have any technical solution in house that could be customized or um, expanded. The systems analyst goes and um, checks what's out in the market, verifies that there are solutions that actually can be purchased and are, I don't wanna say ready out of the box, but with customization ready out of the box. Or if it's something that would need to be 
developed from scratch if it doesn't exist. And the systems analyst will try to get like Gartner recommendations at the Magic Quadrant and get comparisons or whatever Gartner recommends, um, talk to peers in the industry and uh, really get feedback on this. So there could be a big portion, uh, especially in the beginning of a new project, new system rollout. And then of course, it's analyze the costs and benefits. Um, do the system testing as you go towards production and the training of the users as well. So now if you look at this from a project perspective, there are tasks that only happen in the beginning of the project and there are more tasks that happen towards the end, like training the users. There's no point in training them when you're still figuring out what system to use. So your day will be different. And I think that's for me, it's a very really, um, exciting part of this role in general because um, almost no day will be exactly like the other. I mean, you can look at certain roles and yeah, you can predict what your day looks like weeks ahead. Here you cannot. The other thing that I really like about this role is that you're confronted with new technologies all the time. So you have to look for new solutions or you have to be really creative with how a system implementation is being done. So there's a certain, I want to say creativity and, and a lot of IT folks do not like to hear this, but often I, I want to say you can separate yourself from the rest of IT and I mean the larger IT market um, by having a certain creativity, being resourceful delivering solutions that are not necessarily, I want to say, standard, where really your resourcefulness comes into play, where you can either work with less money or where you're really thinking forward in the future and you know how the market trends are going and that's where you can shine. So I think those are two really exciting parts of this um, role as a systems analyst. So as you look at the typical day, I would say, Yes, you have typical days and phases. So let's say you're working on a large project in the beginning, the one third or first quarter of the project, your days will be very similar and then it changes, it shifts. And um, so that will go on and over time you will have some business as usual. So systems maintenance, um, just doing day to day business type of things like maintaining the system, adding users to certain roles, um, looking at log files. So that will be part of your job as well. But um, depending on your environment, um, you could be more pulled towards projects or there are several systems analysts as well. So then it splits a little bit. So just keep that in mind. So I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. It really helps me with YouTube. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.